What's up YouTube, it's Robo and I'm back with another quick tutorial. This is how to make a very simple basic animation using Adobe Flash CC. It's Adobe Flash Professional CC uh, 2015. So to start off, I'm just gonna go up, go to File New, and do a Action Script 3.0. You can do HTML5 Canvas as well, but with Action Script you can actually add audio uh, and you can uh, use it as your kind of background and template for you to animate or to uh, do different pictures, stuff like that, based on the audio that you're using. Uh, I'm going to make this just regular width and height of 550 by 400 because it's just a simple tutorial. Uh, frame rate 24 FPS, you can change this to whatever you want, it really doesn't matter, uh, depending on what type of animation you want to do. Uh, background color, I'm going to keep as white, and then I'm just going to click OK. So after you hit OK, you come up with this kind of blank canvas right here. And the first thing that you want to do, uh, just for a very simple animation, just to learn the basics, learn kind of the tools of Adobe Flash. Uh, you want to start with a paintbrush tool and kind of just draw yourself a landscape. So up here, you see your layers, and this is kind of your timeline right here. Uh, you have a first layer, and then you can add different layers with these buttons down here, new folder and delete, as well as new layer. And so you start off with the first layer will be your background layer. So you kind of just draw whatever you want as your background. So I'm just going to create kind of a sun here get the idea and then just do a very quick kind of platform kind of like that so I'm just gonna erase this a bit right here okay so we got our platform and we got our background here's the sun actually let me add a little bit of some birds there we go Okay, so you get the idea. You can make whatever you want as your background. You can even make this a regular uh, picture if you wanted to as well. It doesn't have to be something that you draw. So after you get your background layer, right here, layer, layer one, you wanna go down and hit layer two. So the reason you wanna make two layers like this is because now you can draw whatever you want on top of your background layer and not have to worry about messing up what background looks like. So you wanna make sure that you click this little lock button right here on layer one or whatever your background layer is. Cause so now if you go in and you so you draw something like on top of the thing and you don't you don't like what you drew so you want to erase it, you come in, you can then erase it without having to worry about uh, your background layer disappearing. As you can see, like you, it, it looks like you're erasing it, but it's really gonna put it right back once you're done. Uh, it just makes sure that the background layer stays exactly the same as you always had it. So you don't have to worry about erasing it. So once you get that locked, you go up to layer two. Now you can kind of start your animation. So I'm gonna draw just my regular stick figure dude. It's right here. And I'm gonna animate this person right here. So once you get the first frame, as you can see right here, as the person that you want, or whatever frame that you want the person to come into, once you get your person drawn, you wanna make sure that you have that layer selected and hit this button right here that says onion skin. If you don't see this, it's probably because you're in a different view. You wanna make sure that you're under the classic view. That's the one that I'm using at least. You can use whatever one you want, but if you can't find that specific button, click classic and it'll be right there. Once you get onion skin selected and you hit F7, it'll then show you what the previous frame was and you'll be on the next frame. So what you can do with this is it'll show you kind of a gray outline of your previous frame so you can then make sure that you're moving your character along in the right direction. So I'm just gonna kind of use that as the center point. Kind of just move, move it like that, kind of like it's running a little bit. And then hit F7 again. Every time you hit F7, it'll then show the previous two frames and then you can draw on the current frame. So I'm just gonna keep doing this to move this guy along. Now I'm going to have it spring up, so you want to then start drawing it kind of going upwards in a real fast motion. And you can even stretch some of the stuff. So if you see how, it, see how I have my the head kind of as a square, if you want to make it look like it's going real quick upwards or to the left or right, you can then take it and kind of stretch it out a little bit, kind of like that, instead of having it perfectly square kind of make the legs a little bit longer. So you, it kind of looks like it's jumping straight up and continue that little pattern up. Kind of like that. Maybe the legs shouldn't be that far 
that maybe. And again, I'm no great animator, you know, this is just a very simple things that you can learn just how to use the program and you can use these techniques to just kind of get started and learn how to really animate with this. So that was kind of the same exact spot. So I'm going to move this a little bit farther up. Kind of like that. Have it, have it grab onto the ledge like there like that. Kind of pulling itself up. Seven. Okay. That's kind of back to normal over here. So I'm going to have him kind of doing a front flip. So I just kind of move the body along with it, kind of keeping the head in the same relative place and just moving the body along. And then he lands it. There we go. So that in total was about 25 frames, it says right here. Uh, it's very simple and then you hit enter to kind of preview it. So as you can see, it runs, runs up, climbs up, jumps, does a front flip. This is really cool, really easy to do. Uh, you, then you can you can go back and, and change the background anytime you want if you just select that layer. You can lock different layers so you make sure you don't mess up that. Um, like whichever layer you wanna keep saved, make sure you lock it first. Let me know if you guys want a, a more in-depth tutorial about animation, stuff like this. I'm, I'm just getting started on this now. I'm kind of getting uh, into the idea of recording some of my audio and doing some animations with it as well. So uh, let me know if you guys want to see videos like that in the comments down below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Okay, and once you get your animation completed, you want to publish it up to YouTube or the web or something like that, you just go up to file and then go down to export and click on export video. And this will export it as a .mov for you and you want to make sure it's on the right uh, path for you to export it at and just go ahead and hit export. Sometimes this will this right here will pop up with the QuickTime may, may need to be installed. I just want to make sure that's installed or use VLC player. It's much better. Uh, and this also might show up, install Adobe Media Encoder and then try exporting again. For some reason it pops up even if you don't need it. Uh, then go check your desktop and it should be right there, untitled.mov. Just gonna play this with the VLC player. And as you can see, it plays just like a normal video. And YouTube will accept .mov, so you can just upload this straight to YouTube if you wanted to, um, or you can convert this to an MP4 or any other type of video file that you want. So there you go, it's a very simple animation, very basic, but this is how you use Adobe Flash Professional CC. Let me know if you have any other questions down in the comment section down below, and I will try to uh, help you out as best as I can. And let me know if you guys want to see any other specific tutorials when it comes to Flash animation. And I will see you guys in the next one.